Hey everyone, it's Laura from Sound Devices with an exciting update for you all. Introducing firmware version 1.70 for the A20 Nexus and A20 Outpost NL. In this video, we'll cover the new features including multiple transmitter groups, the functionality of the A20 Outpost NL, synchronizing your date, time, and country settings, and mirror mode. We now support up to eight different customizable TX groups for sending commands simultaneously to multiple transmitters. Easily assign transmitters to groups from the TX list menu on your A20 Nexus or through the Nexus web app. The new A20 Outpost NL is used to remote your Nexlink antennas via Ethernet connection to the Nexus. By relocating your antennas closer to set, you're able to keep the Nexus on your cart while Nexlink's long distance remote control protocol operates amidst the action, changing transmitter settings with ease. For initial setup, connect the A20 Outpost NL via USB-C to your A20 Nexus. The unit will automatically pair and appear in the Outpost list. Select the Outpost from the drop-down menu to assign it as your Nextlink host. If you're not using a DHCP server in your network configuration, edit the IP address of the Outpost to a static IP that falls within your local network. The USB-C connection to the Nexus is required for initial pairing, restoring settings, and editing the name of the Outpost. Once this initial setup is completed, the USB-C connection can be severed and the Outpost placed in its desired location. Connect the A20 Outpost NL into your network using a CAT6 Ethernet cable or optical fiber cable. The Nextlink menu will inform you of an active connection. An ID option is also available to identify the outpost via the power indicator LED. Though there can only be a singular Nextlink host, multiple outposts can be added to the same network for projects involving several filming locations. Sync your country, date, and time settings across all devices for faster setup when working in different countries and time zones. On the Nexus, go to System and select Pair to A20 Remote App. A message will appear showing that the pairing is in progress. From your mobile device, open the A20 Remote App and select the A20 Nexus you wish to pair. You will now see it added to your device list. Tap on the Nexus from this list and select Synchronize Date, Time, and Country. Be sure to have both location services and Bluetooth settings enabled on your mobile device in order for this to function. Allow a second A20 Nexus to mirror your primary unit for a seamless transition in the event of a sudden power loss. Mirror mode allows you full redundancy for mission critical scenarios where failure is not an option. To enable mirror mode, connect the backup unit via ethernet to the primary unit. Ensure that both ethernet ports you are using are set to control in each network menu. There are various configurations available for utilizing both control and Dante via the same port. Navigate to the network menu and select the RF mirror mode option. Enter the control IP address of the primary unit. Tap save. Then toggle the status switch. An OLED border will appear on the backup unit, indicating its mirror status. When power is lost on the primary unit, the backup Nexus will spring into action, automatically handing over the TX list, Nextlink control, and receiver channel settings. It's important to note that a switch is required to operate in mirror mode between two A20 Nexus units. Separate antenna distribution systems and audio feeds are also required when utilizing Dante or the DB25 audio ports on the back of each Nexus. To stay up to date with us here at Sound Devices, be sure to follow us on social media, register your product online, and reach out to our award-winning support team with any questions you might have. Thanks for watching.